YouTube. Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video today. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at five Italian masculine men's fragrances that you may not have heard of before, or if you've heard of them, maybe you've never tried them. So this will give you an idea of what they're like, so you can make a decision for yourself if you want to pick it up. So before we get started, as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel if you enjoy the content that I create. And if you have an Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. And of things like giveaways and of course photos of fragrances from my collection. Let's take a look at these Italian scents. All right, so first I wanted to add in a bonus for you guys. I'm gonna do an honorable mention. Normally I don't do that, but in this case I felt like I had to because of how much I love this fragrance. It's Original Denim for Men. The reason this doesn't make the list is because I just did a full review on this recently. So you can see, look how much I've drawn down on this bottle. Uh, you know, you can see the box, take a look at it here. Leathery, musky, fresh citrus it's got a nice you know 70s 80s funk in there this is one of my uh newer fragrances to my collection but it's an absolute hit for me uh, i gotta polish this one off soon but this is an awesome fragrance extremely inexpensive and big shout out to jay for hooking me up with two of his bottles unfortunately it didn't work for him but he knew i liked it and, and was kind enough generous enough to reach out to me and ship me two bottles so i got plenty of this but if you haven't tried it check it out watch the full review see what you think if it's going to be a fragrance that works for you but check it out denim for men by denim all right guys so the first fragrance on this list is from the house of anucci it, it is anucci for men by Anucci. This is a 1989 Sheeper fragrance. Um, to me, it's very fresh, very clean, very Italian, and it's very airy. So um, shoots them out here so you can see. You know, it immediately comes off with floral, very white floral. Uh, it reminds me of, say, like a country club, you know, locker room or bathroom. Really nice. My, my, my girlfriend actually said she liked the smell. At first, she thought it was a little bit like air freshener-like, and I could get that vibe from it. But once it dries down, that's when the, the musk and the oak moss come out um, because they're, they're not noticeable right away. You have to kind of wait for it. But it's very clean, and it's got this, like, golf type of theme to it. As you can see, it's kind of like a golf ball. Look at that. You can see the, the, the tube there. It got stuck in this corner, so I might have to move it around. But makes that pop noise here. The box, it features an older guy there, or what I think is an older guy, Anucci. So um, you can see the top there too. So it's kind of got this golf theme. Not sure what that's about, but it is a great spring and summer outdoor scent. And when it dries down, um, it, it really does become even more masculine because at first it's very like white floral, um, but it's very clean. I enjoy it a lot and it lasts a long time, easily over eight hours. And price-wise, this is gonna fall into the $25 to $30 range. If you wanna try this first, you can reach out to McBag. He actually sent me a sample and I immediately purchased it because I knew I liked it. And this is a great Italian masculine scent from the era of fragrances that I love that you can wear in the spring and in the summertime as well too. And um, it's gonna last and it's gonna perform and you're gonna save some money because it's not expensive. All right, so the second Italian masculine men's fragrance that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention in this video is from the house of Sergio Saldano. It is Sergio Saldano for men, or Sergio Saldano Black, as it's called. It's a 1985 Sheeper fragrance, and this stuff is insane. It's a monster. It performs so strong, and it opens up with, um, here, I'll show you this. Look at this bottle. What a ridiculously plastic cover bottle. So you can actually open this one up, and there's like, I'll see if I can get it open for you guys here without breaking it. Um, yeah, there it goes. You can kind of see it, it'll open up there and there's a glass bottle. There we go in the center of it and it keeps it in there like a case. So, which is kind of awkward. It's kind of a clunky presentation. Well, I'll do a full review on this one, but distribution is insane. It comes out a lot and you got this big bulky cap. But anyway, back to the smell. Uh, it immediately opens with this burst of citrus. It's like a lemon and orange with like a pepper to it. It's like almost like a black lemon and orange pepper. Uh, I know pepper's not necessarily a note in the fragrance. I think that's the pine pushing through, but it's very bright, but masculine, sharp in, in the opening. And then when it dries down, it reminds me of like a spring or summer sport version of two of my favorite fragrances. One of them actually being a, a you know, higher end Italian fragrance and the other one being, you know, just an 80s macho masculine. And those are Crizia Uomo and One Man Show. It has that soapy lavender dry down that those two have so it shares some similarities but it's kind of falls in the middle it's a little bit lighter a little bit fresher a little bit better for the you know the summertime and, and i think you could rock this on summer nights or in the daytime but that citrus opening that that orange and lemon it's so nice and uh i'll let you guys take a look at the box here 
So again, this is one that I discovered through McBag uh, in one of my sample purchases. He actually sent this one to me as well. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for that. You guys can check it out to get um, this fragrance if you want to try it first. Reach out to him either on Instagram or on eBay. So it is price range wise. I got this for $45 on eBay. I didn't think it was too bad. It's a you know 100 ml bottle. Um, and it, it's a really, really nice masculine Italian fragrance. But it's it just extremely Italian to the core because it's got all those different notes. There's probably a ton of notes in there, but the ones that stand out, that sharp citrus opening, that like, kind of spicy pepper, and then that dry down of that soapy lavender, which I love in you know one-man show and in Crezia. So if you have one of those, don't feel like you can't get this because this one definitely stands on its own and is much better for the warmer weathering that we're, weather that we're experiencing now. So that's Sergio Saldano Black. All right, so the third fragrance on this list, actually from the same house, Sergio Saldano. This is Sergio Saldano Bianco, or white, whatever you want to call it. Same clunky canteen, water canteen presentation. Box is identical, obviously just going to be a different color here. So um, out of the group of fragrances that I'm going to talk about in this video, this is probably my least favorite. Um, it's not bad, but I wanted to talk about it just again. It is a little bit more rare. Maybe not. Maybe a lot of you haven't heard of it. And if you have, I don't know if you've tried it, like I mentioned in the beginning. So this one um, really kind of gives me a vibe of two fragrances that I have, but one that I used to wear to death. It was my signature scent when I was much younger, and that's Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Mal. So this one uh, is like an older, more mature, spicier version of that. I just get the same vibe, and I know some, some of you might, might disagree, but that's what it initially reminds me of. There are two scents that I own. One is by Caesar's Man, and it's Caesar's Man Emperor. I did a review on that a while back. Um, and then another one from the House of Bourgeois, and that's uh, Asir. I believe that's how you say it. So those two smell a lot like this one. I kind of threw this in the in the shopping cart when I was getting the Sergio Sedano Black because I thought, oh, what the heck, let me try it. It smells nice, and it lasts a really long time. So if you want like a spicier, more mature version of Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Malle, uh, but like kind of with an Italian twist on it, definitely check it out. I would say sample this one first. Um, I don't love it, but I don't dislike it either. But I will say performance-wise, this one is very strong. So that's Sergio Saldano White. All right, so the fourth fragrance on this list is from the house of Sergio Tacchini. This is Sergio Tacchini for men, or Sergio Tacchini by Sergio Tacchini. You can take a look at the box. Really cool-looking box and cool-looking bottle here too. So I'll spin that one around. You can see cap comes off like that. It does... Uh, fit snugly into place so you can lift it up no problem. Um, let's spray some of this out here. Kind of a cheaper looking atomizer, but that's okay. Good distribution. Um, this stuff smells incredible. This is so good. Um, it's a very simple note breakdown. You have sandalwood, styrax, cedar, lime, and bergamot, and that's it. But it comes off very green, very fresh, very masculine. I detect moss in this. Uh, it reminds me of a combination of two awesome fragrances, one of which being an all-time green favorite of mine, and that's Sar by Van Cleef and Arpels, but a fresher version, cleaner version, not as heavy, uh, less on the woods, a little bit more bright with the lime. Uh, and also, it reminds me of uh, Lacoste Eau de Sport, which is very similar, uh, but that's a little greener than this. So this one kind of you know is a, a dialed back version of both of those, I, I think, um, but it smells awesome and it's funny when i spray it the first thing i thought of i don't know if this is going to make a lot of sense or not but it reminded me of the way fruit stripe stripe gum tastes and then i thought it was going to be like fruit stripe gum in performance where it's not going to last at all because i didn't think it lasted on me but my girlfriend told me hours after i had thought it was long gone that she could still smell it and it was very strong so i think you go a little bit anosmic to this or you know nose blind whatever you want to say it's not overwhelming i don't think i but um, as she said it was really strong to me it didn't come off that way it didn't get that heavy um you know 80s powerhouse scent it was more of like a fresher lighter version of it but again very italian and uh, and also old school so it kind of reaches into both worlds where it's going to be a little bit cleaner but also going to maintain that masculine edge that I really enjoy when it comes to a fragrance so this one is awesome I found it on eBay for $24 um, I saw an aftershave on there with all of these so far all I have is the fragrance um, and I think that you know that, that's going to be good enough except for uh, the next one which I'll explain but anyway this one had that essentially fruit stripe gum and I thought that was very weird but then that goes away and then it's like right into the uh, 
masculine notes that I enjoy. The green, that lime is very, uh, is very enjoyable. It's clean. It's an active scent. It kind of gives off that, uh, you know, tennis club vibe like Lacoste does. Lacoste for men, the original. And you can still get this for an extremely good price. And this is a 100 ml bottle. Uh, and this was a U.S. seller on eBay to $24. I thought, what the heck? Let me get it. I have to try it. When I read the description, it was like an, uh, one of those times where you know it's going to be one that you're going to enjoy. And I really do, too. So uh, that's Sergio Tacchini for men. All right, guys. So fragrance number five on this list is from the house of Trussardi. It is Trussardi Uomo Fresh from the year 2000. So the name fresh, right? That's going to give uh, you, you know, the idea of an aquatic or maybe like a shower gel type of fragrance. And I love Trussardi Uomo, the 2011 re-release. I've never tried the vintage. This is a vintage because I think this is discontinued. Um, I was able to pick it up along with some other products, which I'll talk about. But the name itself was intriguing to me. I thought, all right, it's a, you know, a, a classic powerhouse of the original version from an Italian house and it's fresh. It's going to be aquatic. This was nothing like that, but it that made it even better, right? It's not your typical aquatic fresh scent. It's a woodsy, cheaper fragrance and it's my scent of the day. So I'm going to put some on here, spray some on my hand. I shaved. I used the aftershave that they have. They have a nice splash. You can see what the bottles look like. This is the uh, cologne. This is the aftershave. They got this really cool pattern here snake skin or leather but it is plastic similar to the Sergio Sedano so that must be you know an Italian thing to encase the fragrance in a plastic container but this is the original Trussardi logo the Greyhound there Trussardi Womo Fresh so let's talk about the scent again it comes off really spicy woodsy there are um, musk notes in there, cedar uh, notes in there, and then the note of red berries. And I think that that one sticks out the most and that gives it the bright, clean freshness. So it's it's a, a masculine, fresh scent. It's not gonna go down the easy, super crowd-pleasing, uh, shower gel, blue, fresh line, which I'm so happy it didn't. Uh, and even if it did, I, I still was one, I wanted to buy it because it was from Trussardi and I, like, I actually like the house, but I was just so surprised and happy that it did not end up that way. This is such a good scent. Um, it, it's light, so it takes that woods, it takes the spice, it takes the berries, and it just lightens it all up and blends it together. And it's a, it's a beautiful fragrance. So this stuff is awesome. Uh, you know, all of these fragrances I haven't had in my collection that long, so you know I really can't speak on the performance past you know the, the couple times that I've worn them. Um, but with this one, I noticed that they do have you know the, the body line. So here's what the box looks like. Um, they have. I bought this. This was a huge shower gel. It's 400 ml. Cap comes off and it has a nice dispenser and it's a shampoo and shower gel. This stuff smells incredible. It smells just like the fragrance. And, um, you know, they do also have a deodorant body spray too. And I always like these, even if it's a natural spray too. Um, this always adds, I kind of just use this after the shower. When you're blending that with the shower gel, you spray this on, just kind of let it set in. It's like the cologne before the cologne, the pre-cologne. So um, anyway, this stuff here, I believe this is, uh, you know, again, this is the, the, the fragrance. So it, it smells really good. And, and it just takes a lot of uh, my favorite types of notes, woodsy notes, uh, you know, the berries, is an, that's, a new, that's something new. I've never tried that in a fragrance before, but it takes a masculine scent and it, it just lightens it up and, and makes it fresher and it allows you to wear it to the spring and summer. It came out in 2000, so it's relatively new for a lot of the fragrances that I review, but it, it took its hand and reached in the back seat, grabbed some, some of the fragrance notes from the 80s, the 90s, the style, and blended it together to make an awesome fragrance. So I'm definitely gonna be using this uh, as one of my preferred Italian scents for the spring and the summertime. That's Trussardi Uomo Fresh. All right, guys, that'll finish it up for me today for this list of five Italian classic men's masculine fragrances that you may not have heard of. So as always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section. Let me know what you thought of the list. Let me know what you think of the fragrances. Have you heard of these? Do you own them? Are there ones that you think are a little bit more rare that I should have put in the list? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, please let me know if there's any one of them that you would want to see a full review on. I'm leading a little towards a Trussardi Uomo Fresh. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.